probably noticed that sometimes the world that was once so bright and vibrant suddenly loses all its colors and becomes dull and gray. In such moments, you most likely get scared and don't understand what's happened. And if by chance you were to learn that one person is responsible for all of it, you would definitely become very angry with that person. Go ahead. Get mad. All of this is my fault. <sighs> The thing is, when I'm in a not-so-good mood, the whole world around me becomes gloomy and colorless. How am I supposed to know what this thing is? If it's a squash, it should be green or maybe yellow. And if it's an eggplant, then it should be purple. And my apples, how can I be sure that they're ready for picking? Everything is gray. Yeah, and I fell down. And I can't figure out if I'm all covered in blood or is this just mud? Rosa. Enough already! Look, you were sad, now get over it! I told you! This is all beyond my control! It's true. My mood has more swings than a playground in a public park. I go from happy to sad. But why do we have to suffer? You're telling me, the scientist, that it's beyond your control? Everything in this world has cause and effect. My scientific formulas show the effect, and you're the cause! <sighs> Rosa, you can see it for yourself. Not only is it all looking bleak, but everything is in total chaos. Is this grass? Last time I checked, grass was green. This is a shade of who knows what. And as for the weather... I, uh, did mix up the red wire with the blue wire. Hmm? What am I supposed to do about it? Well, try to liven up a bit. Just a little. We beg you, please. <laughs> no, 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 try it. We'll help you. Let's do it. Let's do it together. We need to come up with a strategic plan now, people. We must raise Rosa's spirits and make sure they stay that way. I could revive my stand-up routine, but with my bad back, I'm not able to stand up for very long. It would be helpful if we can find out how far this black and whiteness is spread. It's spread everywhere. I've contacted governments from all over the world, and there's panic in their black and white capitals. <gasps> Traffic lights aren't working. Oh, just a second. It seems that the people have started to calm down a bit because they figured out that the cause of the problem is here. They're setting up an international committee to try and get Rosa back into a good mood of the highest quality. They're saying they want to make her the princess of our entire galaxy. Being made princess of an entire galaxy doesn't happen every day. You may want to think about, oh, I don't know, <laughs> maybe smiling a bit. I can't promise anything. I smile when I want to smile and not when somebody needs me to. And that's that. It's not going to work. It's just not going to work. Have hope, old chap. We all must have hope. Galaxy. Rationally, I know that I should be truly grateful to you for wanting to make me the most important princess in the galaxy. But I must be honest and say what lies at the bottom of my incorruptible shattered heart. <laughs>
What's with the weird smile on your face? <laughs> Go away! Can't you see that I'm thinking? He always ruins everything. Oh my goodness! Why is everything purple? Because I'm going on vacation for about ten days or so. I don't really care whether the science exists or not. It's all purple to me now. Hmm? Ain't that a stinger? The whole garden's nothing but eggplants. Hm. Wally hasn't shown up yet. <laughs> It's half past eight already, Chico! Scheduled this time, you know. You just had to stay up late into the night writing poems, didn't you? Uh, huh? Why didn't you stay up late another night? Like, say, last week? Yeah, or tonight. Yeah, or next week? <sighs> what are you doing? Look at us! None of us are sleepy. Yeah! Right, Rosa? Yeah! Right, Chico? <sighs> mm. Look how the sun is shining. And butterflies are flapping. Everything's awake. <laughs> Olga's awake. Yes! Olga's been awake for ages. I mean, who could sleep at this time? You're asleep? Hey! Uh, no. Just reading. We've got to do something about Wally. He always oversleeps. I certainly overslept, but I didn't do it on purpose. And I'm a lady. Don't forget. And we like to sleep too, you know. How do you mean, not on purpose? Huh? Um, Wally um, isn't to blame. What? He's not to blame? Wally well, isn't to blame. He's just wired like that. There's a clock inside mm -hmm. each of us. Mm -hmm. And it tells us when it's time to go to sleep and when to get up. And all of us have a different clock. Huh? And we do too? <laughs> Why, of course. If someone wakes up very early and goes to bed very early, they get called an early bird. And the other way around, a uh, night owl. And one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, I guess Olga three, is a uh, early bird? Hmm. No, well, it, yeah. Ah, and you, uh, you're a uh, what? I'm a night owl. I guess this means that Wally didn't really do anything wrong. Shh. Ha <laughs> 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 
Hey, night owl. <laughs> We're having such a wonderful evening, aren't we? Guys, why on earth are you sleeping? Let's all go for a swim right now! <laughs> Thank you, my friends, for dragging me out of the house! Oh! You know what? Let's go over to my place. I'll read you guys all the poems that I wrote last night. Yeah, let's see about this one over here. I guess, I don't care about that one. This one's okay. Ah! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why, hello, dear early birds. <laughs> Here you are. It's Carlin's turn! You know, I could have fallen so many times. I came within an inch of my life, but somehow managed to survive. My dear friend, we were looking for you for so long, we thought you didn't want to play with us anymore. I've heard some folks say that everyone has their guardian angel. But I didn't think too much of it, actually. Yeah, sure, naturally. I wonder what kind of angel I have. Uh, what? It's a pity that I can't see him. Get that out of your head! He knows everything that I've carefully hidden from others. He's seen everything. <laughs> you have no serious reason to worry about being judged. You are wonderful, kind, cheerful. <sighs> it was me who had eaten your pie. Not the bees like you thought. <gasps> I cannot believe you did that. You're an animal! I mean, it's totally fine. Not a big deal at all. 
I feel ashamed in front of you, but I feel even more ashamed in front of my angel. He's having a hard time with me. No! Mm. No! It's a sign! Uh, 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 do you think it's your angel? Why would my angel care about you? No, it's yours! What do you mean, my angel? I would thank you not to impose your naive worldview onto others! Hey! He wants something from you. Nonsense! Mm -hmm, fine. I'll admit it. But not because of some angel, mind you. Because of my love for the truth. I did peep at you when playing Blind Man's Bluff. Well, I'm scandalized. If I had been your angel, <laughs> I would have punished you harder than with pine cones. <laughs> You have driven me crazy with all this talk of angels. I can find no peace. Whenever I am trying to do anything, I cannot help but think about the way my angel might see it. Do you want to gain his favor? Well, not that I am saying that I take this seriously, but I'd prefer him to save me rather than throw pine cones at me. I spill tea on myself. What for, I wonder? And I caught my toe in a door. It's appalling. I'm scalded by hot tea. Why should I feel sorry if it's not my fault? In all honesty, I felt much better when I didn't make any connection between my moral imperfection, pine cones, and hot tea. Without angels, my life was much better. Nobody watched me. I wonder if it's possible to see him at all, and if he's around me all the time, or just sometimes. Ow! Ow! Oh, well, for goodness sake, dear me! I tried to see my angel, too. Spent a whole week experimenting with reagents in my lab. Was about to make a breakthrough scientific discovery, but today I forgot to take the mix off the gas. My discovery is gone. I want to ask him one thing. Where on earth was he at that moment? I need to talk to his manager. I want a replacement. Well, I like my angel. Why on earth would you want to see him, then? To thank him. On the other hand, you can say thank you even without seeing your angel. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Give it to me. Yeah. I am so angry with you! Some guardian. Ow! I was thinking yellow. No, pink! It should be pink! Chico isn't a girl. Why would he want a pink weather vane? It should be painted solid orange, like a carrot. Ew! Nobody has painted anything orange since, like, forever! Yellow, then. Uh, why yellow, anyway? I don't know. I can't think of a reason. But yellow is the best color. Pink! Carrot orange! Yellow! Oh, have you ever heard of it? Yellow is the color of the sun! Oh, oh, it's orange. yellow Stop. and... Chico! What color do you want your weather vane to be? I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? Chico, this is your weather vane! The only opinion that matters up here is yours. You do have an opinion, don't you? Chico, everybody has to have an opinion whether you like it or not. Why is that? They just do! Maybe it's because you lack, like, self-confidence, huh? That's it. You are not sure of yourself. That's why you have no opinion on your opinions. We gotta build your confidence like a sandcastle. By giving you compliments. And telling you things like, you're smart and nice. Chico, did you know you're smart? And really nice. Oh. Trust me. You know what you are? You're a... Oh, what's it called? A uh, collector? Uh, don't interrupt me when I'm complimenting you. Oh, what is that word? Wait. Wally is a poet. He can write down nice things to say about you, and then we can just read from the paper. Ah, 
I have written a tribute for you that's so glowing you'll need sunglasses. Believe me, nobody has been praised like this before. Deku? Okay, let's see. You shine just like the morning sun, you are the very best, the only one, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's a bit too pompous for my taste, really. It's rather over the top. I mean, there's just no soul in it. There's just no soul in it. Can you add soul? Roses are... Violets are... Oh. This here is a tribute loaded with soul. It has more heart than a box of Valentine's Day candy. It's the finest tribute I've ever written. And I don't really care what anyone else thinks. It's a masterpiece. Huh? Ew! Are you kidding me? It's like something a girl writes to her bestie. Man up already. <clears throat> Do you have any idea exactly what it is that you want? Maybe a little more masculinity? My closet has a stronger personality than you do. I'd rather write sonnets for it. My closet causes me no pain. What I put in, it still contains. It never talks back or complains. You okay? <sighs> Somehow I don't think that all this praise for me has really changed anything. Don't you worry. As soon as you decide on a color, we'll make you a new weather vane. I'll paint this one orange like a carrot and just I'm put it on like my house. I'm not like a dresser. Okay? I'm more like now, if I could a weather just vane. Pull it just like out. me, it doesn't have an opinion either. And so it just turns whichever way the wind blows. I got it! I know why I wanted to paint the vane yellow. Yellow is the very color of instability. The vane constantly changes its direction. Its color must be of change and betrayal. Leave huh? me alone. Have I ever betrayed any of you? What's wrong with him? <clears throat> Here, uh, read this. Hmm? Chico is a fool? Oops, no, uh... Read the other side. Chico is my very best friend. We'll be together till the end. That's great. That's great. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I don't know. Something is still missing. Um, uh, maybe it could hmm? What's missing? Hmm? There is nothing missing. Well, I don't know, but it's way too, way too simple. Where's the, you know, masculinity? Well, you something missing. About? well maybe you don't have your own opinion, but you're usually the only one here who listens. I'm telling you, put it on. And I already told you that I won't put it on. And I'm telling you again, put it on. And again, I'm telling you again, no. And I'm telling you, don't argue with me. <gasps> Why are you making such a big deal about this hat? <laughs> <sighs> Why is she bugging me so much? My lovely friend, you know perfectly well that she has recently stayed out in the sun for too long and suffered because of it. She loves you, and she doesn't want to see you suffer in the same way. She stayed out in the sun too long? So why make everyone else suffer? Did you get a look at that hat? It's hideous! But is it really worth it, fighting over the small stuff? 
If that hat is the small stuff, then what would be the big stuff? Oh, great. She's coming back here with that hideous hat. Do you believe it? She won't listen to me. She doesn't understand that the sun can heat up your head so much that it cooks your brains like a crock pot. My far-sighted friend, the sun has hid itself behind the clouds so you can stop <gasps> worrying about it. It may be gone now, but it will come out again any minute. It's not a picture. This is reality. Hmm. See? What did I tell you? I'm telling you, put it on! No, I won't put it on! And I'm telling you, put it on! I won't! You'll catch a cold, silly girl! This is no joke! This is not small stuff! Look <gasps> here, if you start walking around without a scarf and you'll get an ear infection, you'll get sick! And it will spread from your ears to your throat! Huh? It's a tornado! Run for your life! Ah! Oh, no. oh no! Oh, run from the spitty thing! Oh! Rosa! Come on! Get up! We've gotta go! Go! Run faster! Faster! Considering the fact that we are now right in the eye of the tornado, a place from which no one has ever gotten out alive, thank you very much, we can say with a reasonable amount of certainty that we are currently on our way to the other side. What does that mean? Are you saying that we're dead? Are you crazy? Why are the two of you both sitting there so calm? What's the point worrying about it now? <laughs> I should have worried about it earlier. A hat or a scarf won't protect you from a tornado. Especially. <laughs> When you're in it, my dear. Hmm. So, then I guess making me wear that silly hat and old-fashioned scarf was just pointless. No, not pointless. There are precautions to take for every situation. A hat for the sun, a scarf for the wind. What's the precaution for a tornado? Once you're already in it, there's nothing that you can do. That's why no one is bothering you anymore, my dear. You are free to do whatever you want. <laughs> Huh? Well, I guess this is it. This is... Most unusual. We are saved! <laughs> <laughs> it has dissolved! Oh, the tornado has dissolved! <laughs> Look! Our valley should be right over that hill there. Don't step in the puddles. You'll catch a cold. <sighs> After all the craziness the three of us just went through, I mean, how can you even care about such small stuff? But this is not small stuff, my dear. First, you will get your feet cold, and there are lots of nerve endings in the feet, which means that you'll definitely catch a cold, and there will be complications. You just don't see the whole picture. Hmm? It looks good hanging up. It's too bad I never got a chance to finish it. 
<laughs> Why did I listen to you? I would be sitting at home right now, all warm and cozy, and getting ready to... Geek Taco! The only reason we're out here is because of you! You asked us to keep you away from food! Foodaholic! I thought that you would tell me some interesting yet educational stories about the benefits of fasting! But instead, you're dragging me through the snowbanks in the middle of a blizzard! A hike is a perfect solution for those who eat too much. You spend more time moving and less time eating. We have moved so much that I think we're lost! It's fine. When the storm calms down, we'll find our way out of here. Look, there's a log cabin. <laughs> wow, look how much snow is falling. <laughs> oh, Taco, move out of the way. <laughs> Looks like no one's been here for a long time. <laughs> Come on. Looks like the house is abandoned. <laughs> Don't we have any food? You forgot the magic word. Um, please? No, diet. You're crazy! What if we're stuck here for a week? What are we supposed to eat then? Hmm? <gasps> There's somebody out there. Oh, um... <gasps> I saw someone lurking out there. I crossed my heart. Maybe he's hallucinating from hunger. Maybe we should give him a break. Hmm. You think we should feed him? Remember, that's all you get for the whole day. Mm, thank you. Mm. They have food here. I know it. This is a rude and inconsiderate way to treat one's guest. Come out, I saw you. Who are you? A friend or a foe? A friend? <gasps> you know they're hiding it from you. Get it from them. You mean they really have food? I don't get it. Why don't they give it to me? Now, you know the truth. It's either them or you. You're so kind, so appetizing. Don't go away. <laughs> Let me hug you. Push, Chico. Uh, did you feed him? Yes, according to the diet. The burger told me everything. What? We had a burglar in here? Not burglar. The cheeseburger told me you have it. Hand it over, no one gets hurt. Hand what over? I'm done playing games with you. I want the food! 
ugly carrots. <laughs> I guess uh, you can't really make someone change against their will. <laughs> I mean, if you are ready, then you can change yourself without help from anyone, right? Yes, you're right. He's not ready. I mean, it's like he doesn't eat for a couple of hours and he starts seeing talking cheeseburgers. Oh, my naive friends. It's not just a figment of my imagination. It really does exist. <laughs> it's so big and appetizing. You can try to lose weight and follow a diet all you want, but I can assure you that in the end, it will most certainly come after you, and then... And then what? Oh, nothing. Don't worry. You'll see it someday when you're ready. <laughs> Sometimes it seems like things kind of lose their real meaning. Like the real meaning of a window is to look through it. But sometimes you look through it, and it seems there isn't really anything to see. Nothing interesting, anyway. Or what's the real meaning of washing your face in the morning? To get clean? Or just to do something? But then what's the real meaning of doing something? In the morning? Or any time at all? What's the real meaning of even existing? Unclear. Unclear whether life has always been meaningless, and you simply never noticed it until now. Or there used to be meaning, but at some point it somehow faded away. Shouldn't nap in the snow, you'll get whooping cough. So what? What would it mean to not get whooping cough? Not feeling bad. What's the meaning of feeling good? To be healthy, of course, you woolly gooba. And being healthy means what? You're nuts. Isn't being healthy better than being unwell? It's not a question of better. Better is irrelevant. What's the point of being healthy if it doesn't mean something? So, you're looking for meaning? Yep. In everything? <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Then you need Kuzinatra. What on earth is Kuzinatra? Kuzinatra is a thing that gives meaning. That! I need that! Bad! Where do you get it? It's a long way from here. To find real meaning, I would travel anywhere! Yeah, nah. I'd have to show you how to get there, and it's too far. And I already have enough meaning in my life without Kuzinatra. I'm begging you, take me to the meaning. If I can't get there, all is lost. All right. Let's go then, try to keep up. You really surprise me. Knowing about Kuzinatra, have you really never thought of using it for yourself? Well, the less you know, the better you sleep. Sounds like your spirit's quite tired, my friend. <laughs> you have become old, my friend. Tired and indifferent. You're telling me you aren't even curious about the meaning of life? What would I gain from that information? What if it turns out the meaning of life is to not eat sweets and not sleep till noon? That would be... <laughs> a giant bummer. <sighs> Old silly Carlin. So very kind. Huh? In his own way. What? Can you imagine what a wonderful, fulfilling life we'll have when we both finally completely understand the real meaning of it all? I can't wait! It's gonna be so awesome! You'll understand why you eat too much cake, or tell a silly lie for no reason. I won't waste any more time wondering what stuff means, and then life will become easy and clear. <clears throat> you know, I had an easy and clear life, but then I ran into you, and now we're here. <sighs> What's the cause of all evil? It's because each of us sees the same things differently. Each of us interprets the same things in different ways, which makes conflict. But if there were only one meaning, the true, real one, 
everybody would just get along. <laughs> How much longer will it be until we reach Kuzanatra? <sighs> Would it kill Kuzanatra to live closer to my house? We need to write a note telling how everyone can make the journey themselves to Kuzanatra. We can tell them what the journey's like. They'll be better prepared than us. That way they'll know to bring a coat. I'm almost frozen. And I have a built-in sweater. Come on. We have to get there. Have to. Then we can help everyone learn the truth. Where are we? We're home now. Home and free. We lost our direction in the blizzard. And made a detour. Just try and get some rest now. We can try to get there again tomorrow. There's no need to hurry. Kuzanatra won't get away from us. The real meaning of this broth is to be eaten to help bring back my strength. The real meaning of my comfy, soft, warm bed is for rest. And these meanings just might be enough for me. For now. Lazy bones, just sitting there. There is cleaning to do. You do the vacuuming. <laughs> and you sweep. I'll wash the dishes. Ugh. Oh, my congenial friend. I believe that we, the true children of progress, should proceed to automate this old-fashioned device called a vacuum. So that it could drive itself, clean up messes, and dump itself out by itself? Yes, of course. It does everything on its own, leaving us plenty of time to think about eternity. <laughs> the auto cleaner program is ready. Yeah, mine too. Down the pine tree, the buzz of a busy bee. I am undisturbed. That, my peaceful friend, is Japanese poetry called haiku. <laughs> Uh, 
Day today for writing poetry. Mind if I join you? Unaware of the vacuum cleaner that's um... hiding in the grass. Now that's some good haiku. <laughs> <laughs> It's getting on my nerves. Oh, that machine is so annoying. I wish that it would just break. Well, at least it stopped. What does that thing want? It wants cleanliness. It thinks that we're dust. Turn to dust, and those who fight against dust will turn to dust too. Time for us to think about all eternity. We'll finish haiku, then, then clear, clear this debris. debris. And action! A giant meteorite! Or a meteor, I don't know, anyway, whatever. It's a huge space rock flying a zillion miles per hour. Chico, you're the first lonesome traveler to ever set foot on this incredible space rock thingy. You've traveled 10 billion miles in your ship, and you're walking around on the surface. Ahem, <clears throat> I said walking. You're all alone exploring the vast, uh, vastness. And you're having an awesome time. I said an awesome time! There you go. But wait! Oh no! The explorer isn't alone! Could it be a hostile alien? It is! And he's extremely aggressive! This means danger! Our explorer brings out his mode of self-defense! Yeah, yeah, that one! Just as he readies his weapon, the meteor suddenly flies into a dangerous radioactive storm! Oh, it's shaking things up! Oh, wait, that's just the film messing up! Excuse me! I asked for a storm! I can't work under these conditions! Who's in charge of special effects? There might be a problem. I'll fix it as soon as I can. Fine. Everyone take five. A soft five. Be good now. Action! My totally spaced out life take twelve. Gotta hand it to Pin. These effects are something.
Where's that robot who plays the monster? Gross, 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 gross! Pew, pew. Pew? <laughs> Pew. No need to worry, but I might have lost our robotic actor. I can't get a signal from him in this form. Mm. I'm more worried about Chico. Why can I not see my star? That's my fault. You asked me to make real fog, so I made it. Ah, well. Ah, great. Yoo-hoo! something. Twenty. No further signs of intelligent life. I'm light years away from everyone I know, which is probably fine since they got me into this mess in the first place. Pew, pew. This is the last time I do a movie for Crash, really. I just wish I was home. Chico, it's about time. Hey, where you been? <laughs> the fog totally ruined everything we tried to shoot. <laughs> so we'll have to move the part where you find a confusing celebrity cameo on Mars to tomorrow. <laughs> uh, where's our place in the universe? <clears throat> Beats me, I don't know. But it's just as fun here as it would be anywhere else, right? <laughs> If you think about it, we're all kind of space explorers, flying away on our own tiny meteor. The only difference is that none of us have any kind of script. Or a laser, I guess. near home. It's your fault. I've already walked there and over there, too. Boring. Thanks to you, we're in the middle of nowhere now. <sighs> Does nowhere even have a middle? Oh, I'm going to die of hunger. Oh, great. Hmm? I 
I told you not to touch anything, Wally. I'm not touching anything. Is there anybody here? We are lost. Touch it. It's probably past its expiration date. But I'm hungry. <sighs> oh boy. I could really go for a big piece of chocolate cake right about now. And a nice hot cup of tea. <gasps> oh. Hmm? Huh? Also send us home? Uh-huh, yeah. Go home. Why am I itching so much? No. <gasps> Wally, we are home! He did it! <laughs> There's my son. <laughs> Here's my grass. Oh, wow. Actually, How I nice. think you're the one that did it, Wally. It's when you scratched your head and said, go home. Ah! <laughs> Uh, coffee. Ah. With sugar. <sighs> Extra sugar. Rainbow. Eight of them. Some bird singing Mozart, if you please. Classical music, my dear. Huh. Well, aren't there newer ones? Just scratch somewhere else. But why? I finally have the power to make this world a much better place. And prettier. Uh, more fair. And kinder. Ha! Huh. Prettier, more fair, kinder. Looks like this! Ah, uh, no. Snowy white's not charcoal black. Charcoal black's not snowy white. Turning right's not turning left, and turning left's not turning right. Something rounds, not something snorts. Something snorts, not something short. Bum ba rum bum bum ba rum bum. Same thing in reverse. Something dark's not something light. Something rude's not something nice. And if a dish is burning hot, it means that it's not made of ice. When a man is bald up there, he doesn't have long golden hair. Bum ba rum bum bum ba rum bum. Same thing in reverse. Cut us like a knife to bits. All these crazy opposites, but you cannot hide or flee. There's no possibility. There's no possibility. There's no possibility. A thousand safety measures will not cut the probability. Snowy white's not charcoal black, charcoal black, so snowy white, snowy white's not charcoal black, charcoal black, so snowy white, snowy white's not charcoal black, charcoal black, snowy white, snowy white's not charcoal black, charcoal Let's return things to the way they used to be and never change anything again. But let's agree that never means never. And if we want to change something, we first have to ask each other for permission. Agreed. Everything, Everything goes, goes back, back to, to the, the way, way it was. was. Everything, Everything goes, goes back, back to the way, way it was. was. Everything, Everything goes, goes back, back to the way it was. Everything goes back to the way it was. Everything goes back to the way it was. Maybe our itch just doesn't itch anymore. All scratched out. I could go for an apple. <laughs> 